Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Asia Pacific University, APU, postgraduate virtual webinar session. My name is Cynthia, and I'm your host for this session. So we're about to start the very first webinar session today. So let's just give it a little time for more people to join us. All right. So um, while we're on it, okay, uh, we actually had had four sessions of webinar yesterday covering topics on uh, financial technology, cybersecurity, and a lot more. So do check out our website at www.apu.edu.my or our social media pages, our Facebook and YouTube to watch the recorded session. Besides that, I would like to also invite you to join our postgraduate open day if you're looking for professional education beyond undergraduate studies. Today is the last day of the open day, which is now happening at our APU new campus, Bukit Jalil, Kuala Lumpur, until 5 p.m. So if you're around and available, do feel free to drop by and speak to our counsellor and lecturers. Okay, so I think it's enough of announcement. So without further ado, let's start the webinar session in which we'll be sharing a topic, artificial intelligence, AI, in the process of technological speciation. Let us welcome our speaker of the day, Dr. Silva, sorry, Associate Professor Dr. Silva Kumar Samuel to share with us more. Okay. All right. So we have Dr. Silva here. Dr. Silva, I shall pass the floor to you. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Very good morning to everyone. It is an honor to be here with all of you today. Thanks to all the listeners who have joined through Facebook and YouTube. And maybe in case any of you watching from our campus. And thank you so much. I would like to present this talk under the title, what you can see from this video, the role of AI in the process of speciation or technology speciation. <clears throat> I prepared a three segment for this talk. Segment one, I will introduce some important terminologies related to technology speciation, technology speciation process. Then I will talk about uh, how the artificial intelligence working together with other technologies to make new species, new technology species. Third, a simple model I created myself, actually just for this talk is right from the 
or when uh, it means uh, morning only this morning only i confirmed this model so that model will help those who are interested in this area those who want to create a new technology so this will be helpful for them so without any further delay let me start the segment 1 basically what is going on in the technological world the process of technological speciation is underway technological convergence is happening i mean fusion of multiple technologies or convergence of technological fusion with multiple domains this is basically happening in the world <clears throat> To understand our topic, the definition of species from the biological point of view, because the take this uh, idea completely taken from the biology, the word, even most of the terminologies, ideas, all taken from the discipline of biology. For that, I read uh, Charles Darwin's The Origin of Species book. When I here I hold, I don't know whether you can all can see. I hold this book. I was reading what he is trying to say about species. Like uh, you can see the definition here, what he has mentioned. No one definition has yet satisfied all naturalists. Yet every naturalist knows vaguely what he means, what he speaks of a species. I think uh, he did not give a concrete definition of species in his book, although the word species in the title of the book. But what I understood from his definition, people define anything based on the information or data available for that thing. For example, for this definition, based on the data available at that point of time, he has mentioned about the uh, species about the organization sorry organisms <clears throat> let me see some biological species example species means something new to the world derived from the ancestors derived from the lineage what you see is one of the biological species recently discovered in Australia. It is almost uh, similar to the whale. It's the same age, same uh, species, same type of animal, but the characteristics is totally different. So they recently invented this. It can go for even 3000 meters deep in the sea. Second example, this also recently discovered in discovered also by Australian, by an Australian masked bee. This is a new species. Actually, this was extinct few years before, but again came back. Not few years, like maybe few hundred years before, it came back again. This is called a species, new species. What about technology side? <clears throat> I found a definition to understand in terms of species, technological species. This is the definition is taken from New World Encyclopedia. Technology is a broad concept, deals with species usage and knowledge of tools and crafts and how it affects your species. So almost a similar way he is also explained. This is also explained, similar to Charles Darwin. But uh, we have information in hand because we see how the technologies are evolved. So later I'm going to share how the new technologies, technological species are evolved. That is called as technology speciation process. Let me share some examples, technology species, what we have as of now. Let me take one good example, information technologies. 
there are many uh, information technology species available nowadays. It has been evolved from its original or maybe an ancestor technology. What is information technology? The technology that can help you to gather data, transfer the data, or share the data, store the data in, into an organizational machine or a computer as database, database management systems, analyze the data or manipulate the data, access the data, secure the data, visualize or present the data. These are the various technological technologies available to do any one of these informations, information process. So any technology deal with information, what kind of dealing, able to help to collect, able to store, able to transfer, something like that. For example, data collection and storage. A technology which will help you to collect the data. Example, IoT. IoT, Internet of Things, Internet of Things devices or sensors able to help you to collect the data. Store, of course, you know, database, database management systems, data servers, big database management system depends on the size of the data. So IoT is one of the information technologies. Is considered as one of the new species. We used to collect data in various ways. Based on the previous methods, nowadays we are able to collect the data automatically. The IoT devices become a new species, technological species. Of course, big database management system is a new species, starting from the database management system in 1960s and 70s. Now we have a new species of database management system, which has totally different characteristics. It can handle heavy data, heavy size data. Data transfer, that is another important characteristics, another important uh, information technology, which can help you to transfer or share the data. Example, networking. Internet is one of the good example to share the data. Mobile network wireless networks, wireless sensor networks. Recently, the new species means in this area, nothing but wireless sensor network. ZigBee, ZigFox, NBIoT, LoRa, these all are new species in the technology, in the information technology area, mainly to share the information, to transfer the information. Manipulations. We were using many methods to access the data, to manipulate the data, to assess the data, to evaluate the data. But now we have new species, nothing but data analytics. Few years before, 10, 15 years before, 2000s, we used another word called informatics. Now, data analytics with the inclusion of various improvements, various developments inclusion of AI and the other methods, mathematical methods, statistical methods. We have a new species now. Information security. When you transfer the data from one mission to another mission, for example, through internet, the information must be secured. Cyber security. Cyber means internet security, secure the data. It is another, cyber security is another information technology to secure the data. In case you are sharing the data or you store the data, but not connected to internet, still have to be secured. Information system security. Another one, presentation. Okay, you access the data, you read the data, you generated a report, you need to present, you need to visualize. Visualization is the new species now data visualization in the presentation technology area. Like these various information technologies, the past few decades, 
have been evolved. Now we have new species in this area. You can consider as this one of the technological species. Okay. Anyway, our main topic is artificial intelligence. How artificial intelligence is helping in the evolution of new technologies, evolution of new species, technological species. Basically, what is artificial intelligence? It's a software concept introduced to assist the humans, also called as machine intelligence, not to replace humans, it, it main a purpose is to assist the humans. What is its capability? Earlier I mentioned about the each and every capability of each and every uh, information technologies. What is the capability of AI? What AI can do? Not only AI, any technology in this world can do only one thing. Specialize us in one area otherwise able to solve a problem, able to solve one problem. For example, IoT, what is its specialism? Able to gather data. Networking, able to share the data. Presentation technologies, able to present the data. Data access, data analytics, able to analyze the data. So each technology, able to do one thing, specializes in one thing. Maybe if you explore our university website, we have uh, IT degrees with various specialism, like specializing in one of the information technology, like uh, ISS, information system security, I just mentioned, cyber security, I just mentioned, data uh, <clears throat> analytics, IoT, network computing, so like this, every single information technology specialisms we have together with the general IT. I mean, you will learn all about IT. And you will be specialized in one of the area. Okay, come to get into the point here. Uh, what are the benefits? Okay, when you apply artificial intelligence together with other technologies in, into a domain, what is the main benefit? Here you can see some of the benefits, no human error, unbiased decisions, no risk, faster decision making, uh, quicker decision making, 24 seven availability, help, like this various aspect. I can summarize like increase the efficiency, increase the uh, accuracy. That is the major advantage of AI when you apply together with any technology in any domain. So AI is a software method introduced to assist the humans. When it assists a human to do something, it will increase the accuracy, it will increase the efficiency. Because of these characteristics, AI able to work with any technology, information technologies, communication technologies, any technologies, and able to increase the, improve the accuracy, precision, improve the efficiency. So that will become, in case AI combined with another technology, that will become a new species with the improved characteristics. Okay, that's about the first segment introducing what is species, biological species, and what is technological species. Examples of biological species and ex example of technological species. Second segment, technology speciation process. How are the new species formed, evolved? Or what is speciation basically? First, uh, let's see about the biological speciation process. Biological speciation is the process by which new species are formed. Some of the known reasons why new species form. Maybe due to geographic separation, 
interbreeding maybe due to environmental changes so these are the known reasons how new biological species are evolved but anyway i am not uh, going to that area since uh, this idea is derived from techno uh, biology so i just uh, briefly mentioned that but technological species species that is our idea let's watch this video actually it has a sound but i don't want to end on the sound so this video summarizes various technology species how it's evolved from few centuries ago until the 20th 21st century all right how new technology species are formed biological species we just mentioned discussed how new technologies are evolved we know a saying necessity or demand is the mother of inventions i would say that necessity is the mother of innovations even i would say that the necessity is the mother of technology speciation new technology species are formed due to the need demand <clears throat> so let's see uh, the technology speciations mostly the process of technology speciation that is the formation of new technological species takes place in two ways similar to the process of biological speciation let's see one by one the first way application of existing technology to a new domain of application it is nothing but innovation i have very rarely seen a completely new technology from the zero over the past decades mostly species are innovations the second way making uh, solutions or applications by merging certain technologies fusion of technologies or technological convergence that is the second approach even both approach i used to the same picture you can see here the same picture smartphone is here and all other technologies camera mp3 games browsers these all are different technologies they introduced into the mobile communication domain nowadays maybe you noticed that iphone advertisement or nokia phone advertisement or any phone, sorry not nokia any other phones advertisement they advertise the camera they don't advertise the phone features mainly mainly they advertise the camera so such a way the influence of the other technologies into a new domain for the second ways of speciation also i can use the same example making solutions or applications by merging certain technologies you can see here various technologies are fused into mobile phone domain is called as technological convergence let's see some examples <clears throat> for the first way i mean application of existing technology to a new domain of application first example i would like to give computer tomography scanner ct scan ct scanners actually the application of 
computing into the medical healthcare side healthcare domain because of this application actually ai role is there ai taking care of the software side efficiency accuracy fast and other aspect now they are able to scan the entire body images within minutes within seconds within 5 minutes complete scanning is possible also able to analyze by itself with the help of artificial intelligence algorithms and methods able to diagnose quickly but manually if you do it will take hours and hours also it increase the accuracy of the prediction diagnosis of the diseases of a disease second example application of ai in the space exploration i mean application of artificial intelligence and computing technologies computing innovations into the space research and exploration as well it is undeniable that the impact of ai in all fields including space for example what you see here uh, maybe let me play the video again earth observation satellites provide uh, or keep on sending huge amounts of data the ground stations receive the data in junks over time artificial intelligence can support this effort by providing detailed accurate analysis of satellite data those days before ai humans spend many hours analyzing satellite images but now with ai in seconds this is just one example in the AI, uh, in the space exploration and research side many many applications that will that itself can go for a separate discussion okay second base of technology speciation examples second space nothing but merging of multiple technologies into a new domain to solve the new domain problems and issues this case a lot of good initiatives let me share some of the initiatives like this uh, fusion of multiple technologies and they form a new species of technologies what do you see these are the some of the names of the species with the fusion of multiple technologies dark ir 4.0 industry 4.0 deep or hard technology clean technology or green technology internet of behaviors industry 5.0 society 5 5.0 and many let me share some simple i mean little informations about this the first one what you'd see in the list just now dark d a r q is the fusion of four areas four domains d stands for distributed ledger one of the branch of distributed ledger is very popular nothing but blockchain second artificial intelligence a stands for artificial intelligence we just discuss about the characteristics and the ability or capability of ai third one is extended reality extended reality itself another fusion of technologies extended reality means is the fusion of virtual reality augmented reality and mixed reality these are the three immersive technologies inclusion is this r r stands for r represents this immersive technologies then q q stands for quantum computing very powerful as you know uh, is like a compared to the world fastest computer supercomputer the quantum computers can work 1 trillion 1 trillion times faster 
this ability allows the computers to store huge amounts of data and quickly solve complex problems by exploring multiple solutions at the same time. Yes, that is another capability of quantum. Blockchain, of course, you know, are uh, the distributed ledgers. In one word, if you want me to say, improve trust. The immersive technologies are extended reality, simulating the real world, whereby you can get immersive experience also that will help you to explore the digital materials through the extended reality devices. Next species, technology species, nothing but industry 4.0. Initially, they started with the AI data analytics and IoT. The main uh, objective or purpose of this industry 4.0 is smart manufacturing. So this AI block, uh, sorry, AI uh, distribute, sorry, uh, AI with uh, other technologies like IoT and data analytics, they use another term called cyber physical systems. So cyber physical system, AI, data analytics, and IoT, the fusion of these four result is smart manufacturing. That is called as industry 4.0. Next, actually, industry 4.0 is the reason for industrial revolution 4.0. If you visit uh, the World Economic Forum, they are the one introduced uh, this industrial revolution. They are the one promoting industrial revolution 4.0. Lot of technologies. If you visit our university website, actually, I wanted to take that picture, but you can visit our university website. Almost all the recommended technologies by World Economic Forum we have in our various programs, various courses. If you visit the industrial, sorry, uh, World Economic Forum website, they listed uh, many, many technologies. So with the inclusion of few technologies, which is listed in the World Economic Forum, we can make new species. That is happening now in various domains. Any sector, any domain, any industries, any businesses. So what is the theme here? What is the purpose? digital transformation, in other words, physical to virtual. Another initiative in this second type of speciation process is deep or hard technologies. You can see the list of technologies in this new species. AI again takes part in the major role. Tangible engineering innovation. That is the important uh, objective or uh, purpose of this technological collaboration or uh, convergence. Next, Internet of Behavior. <clears throat> Internet of Behavior is the combination of three important areas, nothing but IoT. Actually, it's the extension of IoT call it as IOB for short, IOT, data analytics and behavioral science, psychology. With these three fusion, able to understand the behaviors, behaviors of customers, behaviors of employee, behavior of users of any technology or any services. What is the main purpose? operational efficiency based on the behavior of your driver maybe your insurance will be charged next initiative the next uh, two three initiatives are i consider as green initiatives the earlier initiatives mostly is all business technologies mainly they want to boost the sales but the 
the next this initiative and the rest of the initiatives uh, mainly to save the resources to save the resources for the future maybe future world future human beings save the planet that is the main uh, purpose of these initiatives clean or green technologies so wherever whatever the way you can save the resources so with the help of various technologies and other methods there are uh, many other solutions are available they call it as clean or green technologies similar initiatives this is a japan government initiative they call it as society 5.0 they want to improve the quality of the of their well beings not completely ignoring the technology they want to balance technology as well as the current uh, efficient practices so they call it as society 5.0 mainly integrates the cyber space and the physical space physical environment they want to save the planet as well as they want to leave the planet for the future with the good resources industry 5.0 very actively uh, in russia they are working with industry 5.0 it is exactly opposite to the industry 4.0 objective industry 4.0 physical to virtual industry 5.0 virtual to physical basically balancing virtual and physical world so wherever can save the resources this will be not fully on business side not fully for the sales purpose okay these are some of the examples i shared uh, let me share one or two applications applications of the species new species evolved based on the speciation process too first example i would like to share remote surgery what you see is one of the robot i mean is not just one robot is a fusion of multiple technologies robot artificial intelligence immersive technologies like virtual reality augmented reality and uh, mixed reality networking networking means 5g even looking for 6g as well with this combination of multiple technologies this is possible sometimes referred as tele surgery it's one of the emerging surgical tool it uses as i mentioned few technologies robotic technology wireless technology artificial intelligence and various computing technologies computing methods help to connect geographically distant patients and surgeons this technology benefits both the patients and the surgeons providing both technical accuracy and enhancing the safety of procedures so a expert a expert surgeon able to operate from anywhere in the world not necessarily they have to go to the operation theater for some reason the, the expert not able to a surgeon not able to go to the hospital is not a issue with the help of this system this new species one of the company uh, da vinci surgical system so they made this as a new species we can operate the doctor able to operate surgical able to perform surgery easily next example precision medicine current medicine we always referred as one size fits all medicine but uh, with the help of artificial intelligence data analytics you can see the various technologies 
blockchain internet of things the fusion of these technologies this is possible precision medicine very precisely diagnose a patient even referring the social media informations all the personal information history medical history their family medical history gene informations and every aspect so is a heavy data so that the data analytics is takes part taking part of this iot helping to gather the data artificial intelligence helping to helping for high precision high accurate analysis blockchain secure the patient informations so this is another species now in the healthcare side with the inclusion of multiple technologies of course uh, other than this computational technologies there are other healthcare medical technologies is also listed here but even though without this normal computing technologies even ai can work with uh, pure medical technologies as well so the right side they mention about the role of ai okay that's all about the second segment third segment i want to share uh, my own model what i developed in the morning this morning actually i confirmed in this morning only mainly for the purpose of this talk in case any of you interested how uh, we can go further with this idea maybe i want to make a new technology species is that possible of course it is possible to help you i made this a simple model it has six stages first stage <clears throat> clearly understand the problem or needs of your new domain clearly understand the meaning is uh, for example whatever the sector it may be any uh, private sector or government sector or uh, industries or any businesses let's say uh, let's take a, a business as an example businesses there are many business processes sales procurement production project management financial accounting management accounting warehouse management services after sales various departments is there hr department so every department they have their own processes as a whole organization they have their own processes so clearly you should understand what is their business process and each department what is their department level processes then you have to clearly understand what are the problems they are facing then you select one problem as i mentioned earlier technologies ai able to specialize in one area able to solve one problem you cannot use a solution to another problem for example using a artificial intelligence method you are able to predict a disease you created a model to predict a disease the same model cannot be used for predicting another disease you have to make another model so you must understand the capability of the technologies okay first step understand the problem clearly to help you a sayings from albert einstein he mentioned like this if i had an hour to solve a problem i would spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and 5 minutes thinking about the solutions so many of the times if you without properly understand people trying to make solutions that is one of the reason why failure why the solutions are failure so important is clearly understand the problem so understand the business in case business is your domain you want to apply something select a particular department and even select a particular problem 
clearly understand the problem. Second step, understand the capabilities of science. Science is what? Whatever discovered so far by scientists and other researchers. Technology, whatever is invented in a particular domain. So in case your domain is artificial, uh, artificial in, sorry, information technology. So I earlier I mentioned about the six types of information technologies. So you must understand clearly the capability of each technology. For example, IoT cannot transfer data. IoT able to gather data. Networking not able to store the data. It is able to transfer the data, share the data. Presentation technology not able to analyze the data. It is able to visualize, able to present the data. So likewise, you have to understand clearly what is the capability of the technologies. Then only, that is the third step. Okay, anyway, one more point here. Uh, sometimes you cannot solve a problem just with the help of one domain technologies or one technologies. Minimum, you need to use more than one technologies. For example, earlier the um, tele operation or uh, tele surgery, AI, robotics, computational technologies, extended reality. All together, you are able to solve that remote surgery problem. Similarly, Sometimes you need to use other domains also. You have to mix two, three domains into to solve a particular domain problem. Because maybe one domain not able to solve. Maybe the problem is that much. So that is called as interdisciplinary research uh, as per uh, national, according to National Science Foundation. So first, identify the problem. Second, identify the right technology or technologies are more than one domains to provide solution apply that so that is the one identify the right technology based on the capability based on the features of your technology based on the solutions already provided by the technology nature of the problem you identified so you have to select the right things fourth step implement apply nothing but innovation what is innovation basically introducing something new to a domain something new it may be a method it may be a technology it may be a technique it may be a tool it may be a concept or theory whatever it is introduce something new to a, a domain that is innovation basically so the fourth step is actually innovation, apply. Fifth step, validate, test or create values. For example, your business invested for this new technology, I mean for your project, you are trying to make solution with the fusion of multiple technologies for your business problem. So the business is invested money for you, money for this innovation. So they want to make, they want to create values. They want to see the result. So you have to prove that. You have to validate your solution, what you suggested is appropriate, able to solve the problem. That is the fifth step. Sixth step. value realization or monetization in case a company or a business invested money on this project so surely solving their company problem solving their business problem is one aspect but sometimes they will they want to convert even the investment the value created value realized from the innovation convert as money monetization sometimes they will start as a new business with the new species they got 
to solve a particular business problem many examples are there oracle oracle database management system this was not started as a company they have done a project to store the data to manage the data for an organization later that will become a product now that is the business mason web services they set up the infrastructure for their own book selling business now that is the main business for them they are selling the services so like this many examples are there so sometime otherwise maybe you are the one proposing this idea you are the one making these innovations you are the one making this new species with the fusion of multiple technologies or application of a different domain into another domain to solve the new domain problems you can start your own company to sell as a product earlier we see a da vinci is a product actually remote surgery product it's a new species now for remote surgery so this is my idea or maybe i can say this is a model so let me summarize so select a problem for example a business problem select a technology business technologies more than one technology or uh, suitable technologies identify the characteristics the capability of those technologies then <clears throat> select the right technology which can solve the problem fourth one apply the technology then create the value for example the problem is they are not able to sell a product a particular product so you want to solve that problem using your technologies maybe you apply digital marketing technologies you apply artificial intelligence for a some accurate decision making purpose data analytics to analyze the data whereby extract some useful information to support the sales process all together you are creating values in this way so you implemented that the value so is nothing but the fifth step whereby they are able to sell the product the sales performance increased for 20 percentage 30 percentage that is the value they created actually that is the way they monetized already increased the sales by 20% mean the profit is increased so they already the company who invested on this new species they already monetized maybe you have the knowledge on the solution so you can make as a single product and you can sell with your own company this is the way new species are evolved nowadays as i mentioned earlier the last 2 3 decades very 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 rare to see a new totally new technology from zero like uh, industrial revolution 1 2 3 very totally new really it is a revolution okay with that i end my session and also i want to conclude the technology speciation process with a positive note iot in iot sensors artificial intelligence softwares all together how making innovations new ideas in even in the entertainment world or music industry let's see this can you tell us a little bit about what's happening here so these bands have the intel curie technology and uh, what it does is it kind of senses my uh, gestures and transfers that into MIDI data and it goes to the computer on one of the softwares and changes that into music. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening here? So these bands have the Intel yeah, Curie technology yeah. and uh, what it does...
we will hear the artificial intelligence iot the technologies are not replacing humans is really assisting humans without any technology without sorry without any instruments they are able to play instruments whatever instruments they like so that is the magic of technology species new species so now this is a new species made by intel company so with this new species if you perform a if you perform a show how that will look like let's see in the next video but uh, i'm not going to play the complete song or a complete performance just a short video only then we conclude our session Okay, with that I conclude my session for today. So I hope you enjoyed the session. So as per my observation, as per my knowledge, according to my knowledge, this is the these are the ways the technologies are evolved, new species are evolved, innovations are evolved. If you are interested, you can explore our university programs. in case you want to be a entrepreneur with the new technologies or how to make new technologies what are the models available in the world in the science the science behind the new technologies all you can learn from various programs thank you so much thanks for listening it's the time for question if you have any question you can ask All right. Thank you. Thank you so much Dr. Silva for your insightful information and also mm -hmm. I think uh the sharing of your own speciation uh, model. Okay, I think uh if any one of you out there who is looking at this and is interested, do feel free to get in touch for further inquiries and you know, who knows you might be able to create a new uh technology speciation that is beneficial to various industries. Okay. So now we will open the floor for question and answer. Um so any one of you who has any questions do feel free to type it out in the comment section and we will address it accordingly. Okay. So uh here I have one question for Dr. Silva. Okay. Yes. Can you share another important area where AI and other technologies contribute similarly to precision medicine? Okay. Precision medicine uh, of course uh, is one of the application of ai together with iot data analytics similar uh, almost a similar term also we used in the another important area nothing but agriculture we call it as precision agriculture precision agriculture gives uh, farmers the ability to more effectively uh, use crop inputs to select the crops including fertilizers pesticides tillage and irrigation waters in every aspect same combination iot artificial intelligence data analysis data analytics being used even in the precision agriculture as well okay thank yeah. you so much yeah uh we have one question here so where can i apply this knowledge of ai i learned today yeah actually you can apply in your workplace at your workplace if they are interested in r and d because you need to make some new species right we need to invest even you can start your own organization 
if you have a idea for a new species maybe in case if you want to follow my model i think be, you will be able to make a new species even without any engineering background or without any technology uh, maybe programming background you are able to make you can get assistance from the people those who know programming those who know uh, technology maybe engineering aspect technology aspect but idea should come from you then you can easily start your own company with your idea or in case your company or maybe where are you working uh, if they uh, they accept this idea maybe you can get money from them then you can set up here i mean you can make the new species okay all right so um we have one last question here so say a student is interested in this area okay so which master program do you recommend that is related to this um maybe directly if you ask me like a based on the ai means we have masters in ai masters in technology management masters in it management okay. these are directly uh, suitable for this type of processes speciation processes in case your background is business even we have a masters in I mean masters mba masters in business administration with the digital leadership so these all are some suitable masters uh, you can actually you can learn thereby you can make your own new species okay thank you so much uh, dr silva so i I think time is actually up for our session today. So uh, next up, guys, we'll be having our very last uh, webinar session to share on a topic towards data science. So this session will be live later in this afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Malaysia time. So guys, be sure to tune in and to learn more about data science and its career prospects. Okay, so uh, one more big thanks to Dr. Silva for uh, joining us Thank today. Thank you so much. Yeah, and also thanks for, for the listeners as well. Yes, of course. For those of you who are watching and listening to us in front of your screens, thank you so much. So have a good day ahead and take care, everyone.